Hello, this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. Last time, we captured Nanyang Castle and killed Yun Shu. Oh, okay, uh, were you just, like, not doing anything around here while they were occupying your castle? But, uh, you're welcome, I guess. Oh, yeah, I think someone was saying something about them being kidnapped or captured earlier. Also, since last time, I gave all of Li Jing's equipment back over to Lu Feng there. And I also gave all of my leftover power pills to Zhang Fei there. You'll see why coming up soon. But now, we've got an item shop. Let's see. Well, first, let me uh, sell some stuff, and then I'll uh, buy some more stuff there. Unfortunately, they do not sell power pills here. So we're going to have to find another place to buy them. But one thing you might have noticed there that they do sell here are steeds. And this is the last castle in the game that sells them and is a goal wing point. So when you get a goal wing later on, you can come back here and buy steeds if you want to. This would be the place to do that. There is another castle coming up where they do sell steeds still, but you can't warp there. So this is generally the place that I'd like to go to do that. Wow, we've got a lot of uh, menus stacked on top of each other. Uh, let's see. Also, I want to sell my excess clubs now that we got all those spears from the cave before. And I also want to sell my caps. Now, if you're short on money, don't sell the caps. They'll be fine for a while still. Because uh, the next castle, well, this castle has an upgrade for headgear, as well as the next castle with an even better upgrade. So if you don't want to buy new headgear right now, you can wait until a little later. I mean, personally, I think it's cheap enough. It's not a big deal. But if you don't want to buy headgear that'll only last you for two storyline battles that are not extraordinarily difficult, then yeah, you could skip on that. But all right, so we got all that. Uh, let's see. I also want to sell Lu Feng's club because I'm going to pick up another weapon soon as well there. And I would like to drop off Li Jing at the headquarters here when I have a moment. Okay, that ought to be good enough for now. And I also want to buy two steeds because there's going to be quite a few generals that I'm going to want to recruit in the near future. So let's get a couple steeds over to Li Ru. That ought to be good enough for my needs. We also have Elixir B available, but I don't think that's necessary right now. So let's see what else is going on around here. Oh, yeah, we heard he had a brother. That's... Well, I still don't regret killing him. I do regret going into the provision shop. And up here, too. Okay, we got a whole bunch of useless houses, then. Let's see, over here, we've got the historian. So how about we invite Liu Bei to the palace? So, yeah, not only is it a gold wing point, but they got all kinds of shops here. And you can save and reload here. The works. What do we got here, then? Uh, actually, you know what? Let me wait a moment before uh, resting up there. Because I'm going to drop off Ji Ling in just a moment. Oh, you're welcome. But yeah, the price for resting up at the inn is equal to whatever their price is multiplied by the number of party members you have at the moment. But, uh, you're welcome. Okay, nothing there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, let's drop off uh, Ji Ling here. And at this point, you can also fire any previous generals that I've dropped off here. But hold on to Ji Ling. Everyone else, you can fire at this point. They're not really going to be important. I probably could have fired them a long time ago. But, uh, yeah, so you just go to the fire command, 
boom, they're gone. And you can encounter them again in the chapter in which you uh, f recruited them in that region there if you really wanted to. I think there's a limit of 70 generals you can leave at the headquarters, but I've never come remotely close to that limit, so I don't really know. But all right, so let's see. Yeah, I want to buy hoods for everyone here. Well, not Lee Ru, but everyone else there, so yeah, these are cheap enough. I figured, yeah, why not put the money into them? And even the next pieces of headgear are pretty cheap still, too. Okay, we get all that. I think that'll be good enough for now. I'll equip those in just a moment. Hey, how's it going? Oh, really? Well, the last time I found a key that I didn't know its value, it worked out for us. So, sure, why not? I'll thank you right now, or... You're welcome. And if you go all the way over here, we can pick up the Trident, which is obscenely overpowered at this point in the game. It's more than triple the damage you would get out of the spear. You can probably one-shot a lot of rebel forces with that. So I definitely want to give that over to Zhang Fei there. Why don't we get the silver key over to Li Ru for now? He'll be my storage for the moment. Yeah, also equip the hood. And then get the spear down to Lu Feng. And that ought to be good enough for us for quite some time. So yeah, I'm not worried about not having a ton of power pills at this point. We'll be fine. The next battles, or the upcoming battles, are not going to be extraordinarily difficult to require them, or not very many of them, at least. Okay, we'll go like that. I think we're all good there. Yeah, we're good. I'm just thinking if I want to rest up at the inn right now with, uh... Yeah, with Zhang Fei a bit light on soldiers there. Yeah, why don't we rest up? It's not very expensive to rest up here. Very nice. Let's go talk to Liu Bei, the true emperor. Or at least he should be. Oh, yeah, we did. Oddly enough, if you don't kill him, almost everyone around here has the exact same dialogue as though you did kill him. Kind of strange how they uh, handle that. But uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, even if we didn't kill him, they'd probably still want... Or he'd probably still want revenge anyway. His brother, I mean, Yun Shao. But, uh, yeah, why don't we, uh, save up here? And, uh, you might have noticed, after defeating Yun Shu, there's a bridge up to the north that wasn't there before. So now we can take that to go to Chapter 4. For boss time! against Yen Shao. Well, he didn't really have that much to redeem in the first place. What the? What are you doing? Nuts. Nuts! They got thousands of soldiers. We can take them. Ow! Yeah, those guys have an attack multiplier of 16 compared to 9 that we have. Oh, good thing I rested up at the end. I was thinking about waiting until after this event to rest up there, but I think that would have killed Zhang Fei, or pretty close. But, uh, yeah, yeah, they just beat us up a little bit, and that's it. But, yeah, we should probably, uh, rest up here again after that. Holy cow! Yeah, they got way too many soldiers for us to overcome. Whatever shall we do? And, uh, yeah, Liu Bei, or not Liu Bei, uh, Lu Bu took his equipment with him. But because we dropped off Ji Ling at the uh, headquarters here, Ji Ling will retain all of his equipment anyway. Hooray! 
And now, yeah, let's rearrange things. Like so. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I recruited g -Ling, So that way I'd have a replacement for Lu Bu. But, uh, yeah, I guess, uh... Yeah, even if you, uh, didn't kill Yen Shu... Uh, he wouldn't have been in that battle anyway, but you do see him a bit later. Oh, what do you mean? Well, they've got nearly, uh, twice the attack multipliers that we got. But, uh, yeah, so at this point in the game, we've got a branching point where we could go to or go to Bohai after Yen Shou, or we could go to... Jingzhou instead there. Which one should we take? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.